Welcome back, Griddle Cook Eat More. Today, we got an exciting one. We got my mother-in-law, Karen, here. It's been in some previous videos, cooking with Karen. And we got the newest member of the family, Maggie. This is our 10-week-old golden retriever. Baxter's in the background. And then we have Baxter, which you've <laughs> seen in some of the videos. The Maggie's big, big brother. So, anyways, Maggie just wanted to say hi. Right, Maggie? <laughs> All right. All right, Karen, what do we got going on today? We're gonna make, what are we doing? We're making fried, we're fried mice. Fried mice. Now, do you catch these with mouse traps? How do you catch them? Sticky traps, <laughs> glue traps? Off of, off, off of the vine. <laughs> off of the vine. So. Jalapenos, off the Where vine. Where Karen comes from, they grow mice on a vine. <laughs> Very interesting. All right, well, let's check out what we're doing here. Okay. So. First of all, we... Uh, so what do we got? We got jalapenos, okay. and we split them. Try to split them down the half, okay. and where we can have a stem. Yeah, and then we're going to show that. Yeah, show gonna how show, the mouse. We're going to show that right here. Yeah, we're going to try to show that yeah. right here. You never know till you get through it. So we're looking for a a, a, a split right down the split middle. Split down the middle, and, and, and you got to find the ones with the thicker stem. Right, they're uh, more the more hardy stem. These are grown at home. Yeah, that's the only thing I grow. This and yep. flowers. So you got to be careful with the, with the knife. And see, sometimes it works and sometimes it don't. But right. that was a perfect one. There you go. So you want to split it right take, down the middle. And take out the membrane. All right. Because you got to have room to put the stuffing in. Yeah. And leave a few seeds. It depends on how hot you want it. The more seeds in, the hotter it is. Kind of like that. That won't be too hot there. This one pretty much Not got too bad. Stem. Most of the membranes out. Got yeah. a little bit of the seed on there. That stem's probably going to break off when we. All right, we'll do, do one it. more. We'll do one more. See how? I usually use bigger peppers, but I don't know if it's because of the hot weather or what. I've already made one batch this year, and they were much bigger peppers. All right. So why do we leave the stems on? What's the... well? That's when we get all done, get them battered up, ready to put in the fryer pan. They'll look like mice. Hopefully this one won't because it don't have a stem, but it'll still taste good. All right. So what is next? Okay. Next we mix up the meat filling that we're going to fill the peppers with. And that okay. Takes so what do we got there? We've got a pound of pound hamburger. Hamburger. Just all right. Any kind. It doesn't matter what else. What? Fat, uh, fatter the better, probably. Yeah, probably. You don't want to know We've that. We've got a little bit seven. of finely chopped onions. All right. One egg. All right. A half a cup of Parmesan cheese, grated cheese. All right. And a half a cup of breadcrumbs. All right. So we're and then we mix it. all that together. Okay. So we're almost like making a meatball filling a little bit. Yeah, it is. Some people use their hands, but I don't. We probably won't use all of those onions. Some of them fall off your, when you're filling the peppers anyway. Well, we might. That's a breadcrumbs. All right, we'll throw the breadcrumbs in next. You just kind of do one at a time and incorporate it? Right. All righty. I think the trick when you get to your cracker mixture is getting your cracker crumbs as fine as you can get them. They'll stick better that way. All right. All right, then we get the... Parmesan cheese. And those are the saltine crackers, right? Right, just old cheap brand, whatever. Now, I recommend Zesta brand. <laughs> if, I was, if I was getting them, Zest is the best. <laughs> well, you know, my I husband like would say premium. But these are probably Walmart brand, to yeah. tell you the truth. I like to take the Zestas and then put vanilla frosting on them. <laughs> Delicious. That was an after-school bus treat at our house when we were growing up. Okay, that's pretty good mixed up. Now. All right, so that's what we want. Yep, something like that. And then we're just going to fill these peppers with okay. it. Okay. Get them ready to bread. All right, so we get that all ready to go. So yep, next up is to stuff the peppers. All right. Right. All right, we'll be right back. All right, we're back. <laughs> all right, so we got our uh, ground beef mixture made yep. up, right? Yeah. So now our next step is to fill the 
Fill all the peppers up. Right. So we got roughly about, what, 40 of them here? Yeah, should be a little over 40. 40, and we think that we should may be have, Yeah, that, that should be should enough. Be, yeah, and the trick is if you put them in there, packly firm them, uh -huh. and kind of build it up, then when you put your batter on them, it's supposed to look like a mouse. Like I say, this will probably come off when we put the batter on, because I usually hold it by the stem if I can. Try to keep one hand halfway close. Just kind of build him up like yeah, that. Yeah, all right, get him rounded up there. Mm -hmm. All right. We might have had a bit too much onions, but it'll just fall off. It won't hurt anything. The little guy here with no stem. Yep. He's gonna be hard to batter. Alrighty, so we will be back. Uh, we're not gonna bore you with this tedious process of stuffing these things. So once okay. we get those stuffed up, we'll be back on to the next step. Alright, we're back and on to the next step. So what is next? Next we're gonna take these rascals by the stem, if you've got a stem, dip them in egg wash All and right. then cracker crumbs. And I usually double dip them because it sticks better and makes a nicer batter. Just roll them in that. Do it again. As much as you can. Kind of press it on there. All right. And just put them on the rack till we get a bunch of them done. And we'll be ready to deep fry them. All right, we're going to get these all done up, and then from there, we'll be ready to fry them up. And that's one step closer to tasting them, so that's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> all right, we'll be back. All right, now it's time to fry. So what, uh, what, what are we cooking it at? What's the temp? 375. 375. We're going to load this up here, right? Yep. I guess we don't want to go too full, but we can, we can fry yep. quite a few at once. A lot more than I can at home with yeah. my little. All right, so here we go. We got, I don't know, four, eight, 12, about 15 in there. Should be good. We don't want to get too many in there because that's going to cool it down. So yeah. here we go, first batch. And you just cook them until they're nice and brown, however brown the meat will be done. Oh, yeah. We might want to turn that down a bit. That's because it was a little high. It? Yeah. Yeah. Those are ready to come out. That's beautiful. Oh, nice golden brown. Yeah. Come right on our little rack here. They all come out. Mm-hmm. All right, we're gonna get another batch going here real quick while those are cooling down so we can try them. All right, time has come. We got them all fried up here. We got a whole batch of mice. We've had a pretty bad mice problem, it looks like. <laughs> I'm not sure what they're doing. They're eating up at the house, but uh, we got it under control, as you can see. We got a lot of glue traps, a lot of time, cheese, all that stuff. Boy, I tell you what. Anyways, so let's give them a try. I've never had fried mice before. I don't know, Jan, have you had fried oh, mice? Yes. Obviously, oh, yes. Karen, you've had oh, fried yeah. mice before. Um, down there in LaBelle, they eat a lot of fried mice, apparently. We do, yeah. Up, up here in St. Louis, uh, not so much, but we're going to try it. So, all right, everybody grab one here. Little, Pick your poison. Got a little one. Got a little tail on it. That's not, not too big. A little tail. All right. Yep. Hey. All right. Cheers. 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 Hopefully, I don't have a hot one. Not too hot yet. You never know. Nope. Mm. Perfect. Look. Mm hmm. Oh, look at that. Look. Nice jalapeno, some ground beef in there. Beautiful. Onion. All right, as Karen would say, D, how do you say it, delicious? Yeah. <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Anyways, yes, super good. Uh, and like, uh, you could do all, I mean, you could vary this recipe. You could use sausage would be good. If you're like venison, probably deer season, you could put some deer in there, mm -hmm. be good. So you can do them up all kinds of ways or stick to the classic real mice like we did. Dip them in ranch. Dip them in ranch. Yeah, different sauces, spice them up how you want. So that's it for this episode of Cooking with Karen. Thanks, You're welcome. Thank you, Karen. That's delicious. Welcome. Until next time, we're out. <laughs>